I'm Alan Parr with Reese. We want to help our clients safely return to the workplace. So we started asking questions like these, and I reached out to the most knowledgeable person I know in this field, General P.K. Carlton. General Carlton is the former Surgeon General of the U.S. Air Force, a 10-year member of the Reese Board of Directors, and a key advisor to our practice. I think you'll be intrigued by his assessment of the risks and his recommendations for a multi-layered approach to make our buildings safe in the current COVID-19 pandemic. Alan, thank you very much for that uh, very kind introduction. I'm P.K. Carlton, retired Air Force Surgeon General. I had the privilege to wear the cloth of our nation for 37 years, and I've been involved in the chem bio side of things um, since I put my first chem bio suit on in 1978. When I saw SARS come our way in 2002-2003, I studied that extensively and looked for ways to counter the threat. So the brief that you'll receive today is actually an updated version of the SARS brief from 2003-2004. And so we've once again got to put together a layered defense. Let's measure three, four, or even five variables and get that miss rate uh, down to less than 1%. That's what this particular group does, called symptom sense. Uh, they measure pulse, they measure the uh, oral temperature, they measure the respiratory rate, the heart rate, and the oxygen concentration. And in the worst case, it comes up with about a 95% reliability rate. In the worst, in the best case, it's 99.9%. And so this is available now. Uh, right now, it looks to be about five seconds per individual. So you have to figure out how you're going to handle the queuing when large numbers of people come through a single entry point. And you have to add to the second and third generation questions that come up. What do you do if you've screened and somebody flunks? How do you handle them? Do you refer them to a medical clinic on site? Uh, do you just tell them to go home and go to bed? So there are second order and third order questions. Now, as we move...